if you were a long-waited for personality and people didn't really knew what you looked like, but they, they've been waiting for you for a while and you were going to reveal yourself, how would you do that? In this, in this context, you'd probably go to the temple, into the middle of the temple area, and with all of the religious stuff that goes on there, and you'd announce, I'm here! And everybody would be there to worship you. The Messiah has come. He didn't do that. He didn't go to the temple to announce who He was. Well, then He could have done it just to Nicodemus, right? Because Nicodemus came and said, well, who are you? Well, Nicky, I'm, I'm, I'm Christ. You know, I mean, I, I'm just, I came. I'm finally here. That, that could have made sense. He was, of the, he was of the religious leadership and He came to find out who Jesus was. And Jesus didn't answer His questions. He didn't answer His questions with His own twelve. He didn't, he didn't reveal Himself to them that we know of yet. Who did He reveal Himself to? He revealed Himself to one of the bitterest enemies of His people. And a woman on top of that. And a sinner on top of that. If you had a chance to reveal yourself as somebody that people have been waiting for, if Winter was throwing a big party and they were waiting for some fancy musician to come and, and just wow us all with, with your expertise, what's the chance you're going to go to some watering hole where there's 400 cattle and one guy standing out there and say, by the way, I'm here. That's what Jesus did. He went to the least likely person He could have and told her all about Himself. As far as we know from the Gospels, He didn't reveal Himself again directly as the Messiah until after He'd been arrested. All the time He's going to spend with His own people, with the Jews, and He never says, I am the Messiah until He's ready, getting ready for His trial or in the middle of His trial. Is there a more, is there a more unlikely big revealing in all of history?